Good afternoon and praise the Lord. May his name be glorified. Herewith I extend my warmest greetings to you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As we have decided trusting in the Lord, we are gathered here for the 34th graduation ceremony of Kerala Christian Theological Seminary. I thank God for all his blessing, all, all his many four blessings. Let us all be in his presence with much adoration and thanks, thanksgiving for all his blessing. As we remain standing, as we remain standing in the presence of the Lord, I would like to ask Reverend Kunyamon Daniel, respected faculty member, to open our 2022 Commencement Day graduation ceremony with word of prayer. Reverend Kunyamon Daniel. Bow our hearts before the Lord. Our dear loving Heavenly Father, we want to thank you and praise you for this. 34th graduation ceremony of Kerala Christian Theological Seminary. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for making us such a way to come together from different parts of this state and other states. Lord Jesus, thank you for bringing us together for such a manner, Lord Jesus. And we really thank you for the ways that you have preparing in the past months and weeks to gather here in such a manner, Lord Jesus. We ask your blessing upon this ceremony, Lord Jesus, this day, and we commit ourselves into your mighty hand. Thank you, Lord Jesus, preparing our ways in different ways, financially, physically, mentally, spiritually, in different ways that you have been preparing in the past days and months, Lord. Even in the midst of this pandemic situation, Lord Jesus, with a limited people that we have gathered here to glorify your name and to perform this graduation ceremony, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for all kinds of goodness that we have enjoyed from you. And especially pray for the seminary. Lord Jesus, bless us together this evening. Also, we pray for all the dignitaries who is leading and guiding this this uh, ceremony, Lord Jesus, and bless them, Lord. Also, I pray for the graduating students who are going to graduate this evening, Lord. I pray for them. I, I remember their efforts, their writings, their writing their assignments in different ways, Lord Jesus, in the past days that you have been helping, him, helping them in different ways, Lord Jesus. We praise you and worship you. Be with us and help us, Lord. We pray for commit all these programs unto your mighty hand, Lord Jesus. You take control, control over us by the Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus. Thank you for hearing us. Take all the glory, honor, and power. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. All may be seated, please. Then let us all together sing for the glory of God. And Brother Shadoj, Raida will come forward and lead us in singing. First of all, I give thanks to my living God. Second, I give thanks to today's chairperson. I greet you all in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let's sing together with one Malayalam, Malayalam song that is Devam Chedan Nukkilam.
ಚೇದ ನನ್ನ ಗಿಲ್ಲ ನನ್ನಿ ಪರ ನಿಲ್ವ ಏವಂ ಚೇದ ನನ್ನ ಗಿಲ್ಲ ನನ್ನಿ ಪರ ನಿಲ್ವ ನಾಬಿದ ಪೂರ ನಾಳಿದ ಪೂರ ಆಯಸು ವಿದ ಪೂರ ನಾಬಿದ ಪೂರ ನಾಳಿದ ಪೂರ ಆಯಸು ವಿದ ಪೂರ ಇದು 
was a beautiful song and beautifully performed and thank you brother reverend raju cp is one of our senior faculty and registrar of this kerala christian theology seminary and he is the member of the board of trustees and i am happy to invite him uh, to welcome and introductory speech now reverend cp raju I greet you all most precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are very happy to new academic year of Kerala Christian Theological Seminary. All in classes started on second week of June and the regular classes started on October first week onwards. We are gathering here by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ for the 34th graduation ceremony. because of this pandemic many seminaries are closed but by the grace of god we got the opportunity to gather here i give all the glory and honor to our almighty god my responsibility is to welcome all who came here i welcome our president mrs amikuti alexander her valuable support for this ministry is appreciable even though she is physically ill but spiritually very powerful i heartily welcome to ammama i welcome to vice president reverend dr roy alexander the director of mercy hospital the chief guest of this special location he is a good leader preacher administrator i here heartily welcome this special occasion for you sir I welcome to Director of KCTS Reverend Dr George T Kurian the General Secretary of Church of Christ he is very hard worker overall involving this seminary needs and hard worker and I heartily welcome you sir I welcome to principal Reverend Dr Babu Samuel we got the new principal for KCTS I heartily welcome you sir I welcome to academic dean Ravan Bijuman VP he is guiding the students in a proper way I heartily welcome you sir our joint secretary Ravan P Chon he was academic dean of last 20 years now I heartily welcome you sir the absence of Ravan Uh, Dr Tennyson Matthew the administrator of mercy and institution i heartily welcome you our faculty members i welcome to all the faculty members reverend dr edison thomas hod of kcts department of altersman reverend dr sabu yas philip department of counseling reverend dr sambla mutal department of religion and philosophy Reverend Kunyamon Department of Christian Ministry Reverend Lijo George Faculty Secretary the Department of Church History Reverend Ajigumar Librarian Department of Mission Reverend Shito Mon MK the Chaplain Department of Evangelism Reverend Tijo Mon Department of Mission Reverend Shibudas Department of New Testament I heartily welcome this faculty Reverend Noor Kunyapi, our former secretary, I heartily welcome you, sir. Reverend Vai Tangachan, the publication director, all the I welcome you this session. All the center pastors and press staff, computer staff, non-teaching staff, CRYU members, New Life Media staff, all the graduating students. our board members executive members alumni students and terry edison and teams uh, sponsors and supporters i even though he are uh, our church members are watching this program from different country 
all of you will come this time our former president reverend dr pv alexander promoted to glory last 33 years of graduation ceremony he was with us he was a hard worker and good preacher for this seminary and church of christ mission i got opportunity to work with him last 31 years he is my spiritual father mentor fellow soldiers once again i welcome to all who came here this ceremony and i welcome to all the graduating students and guests and different parts they came to different people once again i welcome to all god bless you thank you thank you reverend cp raju for your welcome and introductory speech as i chair this meeting i also welcome each one of you in the matchless name of the lord and savior jesus christ especially those who are watching online our partners friends and well wishes and welcome you all again in the name of our lord jesus christ reverend raju maur is one of our senior presidential faculty member and he will come forward and he will help us in reading in scripture reverend aji kumar greetings all of you in the precious name of my savior jesus christ now i would like to read the second epistle of paul the apostle to timothy chapter 2 verse 1 to 50 You therefore my son be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus and the things that you have heard from me among many witnesses commit this to faithful men who will be able to teach others also You therefore must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ No one engaged in warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life that he may please him who enlisted him as a soldier and or see if anyone competes in athletics He is not crowned unless the competition according to the rules. The hard-working farmer must be first to partaker of the crops. Consider what I say, and may the Lord give you understanding in all things. Remember that Jesus Christ, of the seed of David, was raised from the dead according to my gospel, for which I suffered trouble as an evil doer, even to the point of chains. But the word of God is not chained. Therefore, I endure all things. for the sake of the elect that they also may obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory this is a faithful saying for if we died with him we shall also live with him if we endure we shall also reign with him if we deny him he also will deny us if we are faithless he remains faithful he cannot deny himself remind them of these things changing them before the lord not to strive about words to not profit to the reign of the heirs be diligent, diligent to present yourself approved to God a worker who does not need to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth may god bless you may his name be glorified through the reading of the holy scripture Reverend Bijuman, a senior faculty member and a member of the Board of Trustees, and academic dean of Kerala Christian Theological Seminary, I call to invite him for presenting and placing the annual report approved by the Board of Trustees. Praise the Lord. Kerala Christian Theological Seminary, Mission Hill, Ayur, Kollam. Annual Report of 2021-22. You who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Philippians chapter 1 verse 6. I greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. On behalf of the Board of Directors, faculty, staff and students of kcts 
I praise and thank God for the opportunity he has given me to present a brief annual report of Kerala Christian Theological Seminary for the academic year of 2021-22. Introduction. Let us take this opportunity to recollect the history and beginning of Kerala Christian Theological Seminary. KCTS was started in 1981 by late Dr. P.V. Alexander, the founder and president of Church of Christ, for fulfilling the great vision which Almighty God has entrusted on him. Late Dr. P.V. Alexander, Mrs. Amukuti Alexander, Pastor Okunyapi, and Pastor Y. Thangajan are the pioneers of the Church of Christ ministry. They have recognized the need of systematic theological training and practical ministry in the multi-religious and multi-cultural society. Today, the KCTS family is presenting this report with uh, great pain due to the departure of our lower, lower world president, Dr. P.V. Alexander. Dr. P.V. Alexander, who was a great administrator and inspiration to the development of our seminary. On 20th October 2021, our president, Dr. P.V. Alexander, went to be with the Lord. This time, we, the entire KCTS family, cherish our president for what he has done for the kingdom of God as per the vision and mission that he, was, he has received from the Lord. The absence of his presence on this occasion is really painful. Though he is not in our midst, the entire family of Church of Christ is ready to carry out what he has taught us to do for the expansion of his kingdom. We present this report on the absence of our former president, founder and president, Dr. P.B. Alexander, for the glory of God. Let me say a few words in Malayalam. Kanya Mupati Munu Varsham, KCTS Seminary Day, graduation ceremony, Mukhya Didim, Nyangulda Marga Darshi Mairna, Adirnaya, Dr. P.B. Alexander Sarande, Asani Tadil, Adimai Nadakuna, graduation on Edu. Kanya Mupati Munu Varsham, graduation Lum. Leadership Academic Report. Academic here. As we know that due to the pandemic, the whole world is affected spiritually, mentally, physically, and economically. Despite of these difficulties, by the grace of God, the online classes were successfully carried out from 10th June 2021 for BTH and MDiv courses. The first semester online classes were done properly in Zoom Cloud Meeting application without any failure. Most of the students responded positively and attended the online classes. The students submitted assignments and uh, all the additional requirements of each subject through the virtual platform. The first semester examination was conducted on October 10, 2021. The sec uh, classes for the second semester commenced in the final week of uh, 2021. The offline classes were scheduled in the campus with the final year students. The faculty has decided to start the regular classes for the final year students with the consent of the government authorities. Therefore, the seminary instructed final year students to reach the campus. The regular classes began with the opening ceremony, which was conducted in the chapel, chapel service. During this pandemic situation, we have conducted online chapel service every alternative TV weeks. Right from the beginning of the offline classes, the chapel service were conducted as per the time table. Every day we have the three sections of chapel service in the campus. Morning devotion, 5.30 to 6 a.m., 10 to 11 a.m., 
evening 6 to 7 p.m. Administrative of KCTS. Mrs. Amagudi Alexander, President, Dr. Roy Alexander, Vice President, Dr. George T. Quirian, Director, Reverend P. John, Control of Accounts, Office BRX, Dr. Babu Samuel, Principal, Reverend Bijumon VP, Academic Dean, Reverend C. P. Raju, Registrar, Faculties, Dr. Edison Thomas, HOD of MD, Reverend Ajigumar C. P. Librarian, Reverend Lijom George, Faculty Secretary, Reverend Shijamon M.K. Chaplain, Reverend Shijamon T.A., Reverend Shibu Das, Dr. Sam Plamutil, Dr. Sabu S. Philip, Reverend Kunyamon Daniel, other staffs, Pastor Johnny Kuti, Press Manager, Mr. Biju C.P. Press Operator, Mr. Johnny Kuti, Designer, Mr. Rajan Cook, Mr. Prince of his staff, students. We have students from most of the states in India. They are from Kerala, Andhra Pradesh, Odisha, Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Mizoram, and Nagaland. KCTS is a multicultural and multi-ethnic campus. Accreditation and association. The courses of, of the courses offered by KCTS have been accredited. Courses Bachelor of Theology, Master of Divinity, and Master of Theology by the International Association for Theological Accreditation from 2012 onwards. We are proud to inform you that Kerala Christian Theological Seminary is going to become a, an associated institution of Martin Luther Christian University of Meghalaya. Graduates, this year we have 10 students for the 34th graduation ceremony for BTH and MD. Some more students are to be graduated today, but due to the pandemic, they could not reach the KCTS campus on time. Conclusion. We thank God Almighty for bringing us thus far in the midst of the pandemic situation. We remember, the, remember and hereby express our gratitude to the President, Vice President, Director, and all other faculties of, and the staff who are working hard for the fulfillment of the Great Commission of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are so thankful to be the board, of uh, board members and executive members of Church of Christ, pastors, believers, and all other well-wishers of this institution. On behalf of KCTS, I, Academic Dean, places this report on the dais of the Director, uh, Board of Trustees. May the risen Lord continue to bless you all. Amen for KCTS Academic Dean. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for presenting the Board of Trustees approved uh, report and placing them on the dais. In this uh, 34th graduation ceremony, the most uh, important groups attending this meeting is our graduating student. And now the graduating students shall come forward and sing their theme song.
Thank you, brothers, for beautiful singing. <laughs> Reverend Dr. George Gurian is the General Secretary and the Director of General Secretary of Church of Christ Mission and Director of Kerala Christian Theological Seminary. My words fail to explain his contribution towards the expansion of Church of Christ Mission and Kerala Christian Theological Seminary. We are blessed to have him today for this graduation service. With due respect, I invite Reverend Dr. George Gurian for the presidential address. Now, Dr. George Gurian. I greet you all in the precious name of our risen Lord Jesus Christ. This is my pleasure and privilege to stand before you and sharing something to you. Last week I was This is very good occasion to participate. 34th graduation service of Kerala Christian Theological Seminary. Kerala Christian Theological Seminary today, Nupati Naal, I am the Virudha Dhan Sammelan Dil Sammandhe Kendra Dil. I am very happy. I am very happy. I am very happy. The college was started 1981, and the Lord has given many students and graduated, and they are working different parts of the world and our nation. I do like the. I am very proud of this uh, institution and also the Lord has given the chance to be part of this institution. I really remember about Dr. P.V. Alexander. He is the president of this college and also the managing director of Medsay Hospital and a group of institutions. Dr. P. V. Last 33 years, he was with us and he directed us and guided us and also he promoted our mission as much as he can. 
ഈ പ്രസ്ഥാനത്തിൻ്റെ ചുക്കാൻ പിടിക്കുകയും അതുപോലെ ഈ പ്രസ്ഥാനത്തെ അതിൻ്റെ വളർച്ചയിലും വർധനവിലും താൻ വളരെ പങ്കാളിയായി തീരുകയും ഈ പ്രവർത്തനത്തിന് നേതൃത്വം കൊടുക്കുവാൻ പ്രിയപ്പെട്ടവനെ ദൈവം സഹായിച്ചു ആ കഴിഞ്ഞ ഒറ്റവർ മാസം ഇരുപതാം തീയതി താൻ ദൈവസന്നിധിയിലേക്ക് ചേർക്കപ്പെട്ടു ഇപ്പോൾ ഞാൻ വിശ്വസിക്കുന്നു ഇവിടെ നടക്കുന്ന ഈ ബിരുദദാന സമ്മേളനം താൻ സ്വർഗത്തിലിരുന്നു കൊണ്ട് വീക്ഷിക്കുന്നു എന്ന് ഐ ഡോ എനിബഡി ക്യാൻ വർക്ക് ലൈക്ക് ഹിം ആൻഡ് ടു ഡു ദ മിനിസ്ട്രി ആ പ്രിയപ്പെട്ടവനെ പോലെ ആർക്കും കർത്താവിൻ്റെ വേല ചെയ്യുവാൻ കഴിയുമോ എന്ന് എനിക്ക് തോന്നുന്നില്ല വെരി ഹാർഡ് വർക്കർ ഫെയ്ത്ഫുൾ സിൻസിയർ and any any area he can do the mission work he will do it and he will make it aa priya patwan kartavante velil valare ulsahathodum samarpanathodum thalpiriyathodum aathmaarthathodum satyasandhathodum pravartichcha anugrahikkappetta oru deiva prithinayirunnu when every academic year starting i used to go and ask him how many students we have to take this year then he used to say that as much as you can adegan jeevichirunna samayathe oro pravishavum bible school aarambikkunna samayathe njan kadannu janne etra students ne ee varsham nammude college il padipikkuvan cherkanam enne chodikkumbol aa priyapettavan ennodu pradhigarikkumayirunnu etra maatram students ne namukku training cheyyuvan kariyumo athra maatram training kodukkuga enna nalla upadesham paranju thannunde then i asked him do you think that we have the as much funds then he used to say that i will make funds you don't worry about that you take the students and train them and send all the villages to india adega aa samayathe adegam parayayirunnu sorry aa samayathe njan adegathodu parayayirunnu namukke aavashyathine idu college kondu poganulla fund illallo adu konde namukku etra maatram students ne edukkuvan angu paranju engilum njanku adu adu cheyvan kariyunnillallo endu paranjappol adine kuriche nee paarapidanda adine sambandhiche നീ ഒരു വൈഷമ്യവും നീ കാണേണ്ട എത്രമാത്രം സ്റ്റുഡൻസിന് ട്രെയിനിങ് കൊടുക്കാൻ കഴിയുമോ അത്രമാത്രം കൊടുക്കുക എന്ന നല്ല ഉപദേശം എനിക്ക് പറഞ്ഞു തരുമായിരുന്നു days to come i think that next year we'll have a very good uh, graduation more than this one and also we get a more students to uh, graduate coming years ipol logathagamanam nadannukondirikkuna covid enna maha vyadhiyal namakke anega students ne accommodation kodukkuvano avare padipikkuvanulla saugaryamo kramikaranam illa ennal munkalangalilum adu pole bhaavilum nammal angane cheynadayirikkum ee varsham valare paridhiyil maatrame namakku students ullu valare parimidamaata saugaryathodu kooda nam ee graduation service cheynullu we are trying to get affiliation with martin christian university and uh, other agencies also അത് അതുപോലെ തന്നെ നമ്മുടെ കോളേജിൽ നിന്നുള്ള അക്രഡിറ്റേഷൻ ലഭിക്കുവാൻ വേണ്ടി മാർട്ടിൻ ലൂതർ സെമിനാരിയുടെയും മറ്റ് ചില അക്രഡിറ്റേഷൻ അക്രഡിറ്റേഷൻ ഏജൻസിയുടെയും സഹായവും അവരുടേതായ ആ പ്രോ അവരുടെ സഹായം നമ്മൾ തേടിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുകയാണ് സോ ഐ വാണ്ട് ടു അർജ് യു എണസ്ലി പ്രേ ഫോർ ദി ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷൻ ആൻഡ് ആൾസോ പ്രേ ഫോർ അവർ ഗ്രാജുവേറ്റ്സ് ആൻഡ് മെനി ആർ വർക്കിംഗ് ഇൻ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് പാർട്സ് വിത്ത് മെനി കൈൻസ് ഓഫ് ഡിഫിക്കൽറ്റീസ് ദയവായി ഞാൻ പ്രിയപ്പെട്ടവരോട് പറഞ്ഞു കൊള്ളട്ടെ ഈ സ്ഥാപനത്തിന് വേണ്ടി പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുക ഈ സ്ഥാപനത്തിൽ അനേക വിദ്യാർത്ഥികൾ കടന്നു വന്ന് ദൈവവചനം പഠിച്ച് ലോകത്തിൻ്റെ വിവിധ ഭാഗങ്ങൾ കടന്നുപോയി സുവിശേഷം അറിയിപ്പാൻ ദൈവം ഞങ്ങളെ പരിശീലിപ്പിക്കുവാൻ സഹായിക്കേണ്ടതിന് നിങ്ങളുടെ ആത്മാർത്ഥമായ സഹായവും സഹകരണവും പ്രാർത്ഥനയെ അപേക്ഷിച്ചുള്ളുന്നു സോ ടുഡേ ഐ എം ഗോയിങ് ടു ബ്രീഫ് മെസ്സേജ് ടു പ്രസൻറ്റ് യു മാത്യു ചാപ്റ്റർ ട്വൻറ്റി എയ്റ്റ് വേഴ്സസ് 18 to 
ഇന്നത്തെ ഒരു ചെറിയ സന്ദേശം നൽകുവാൻ ഞാൻ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നത് മത്തായുടെ സുവിശേഷം ഇരുപത്തി എട്ടാം അധ്യായം പതിനെട്ട് മുതൽ ഇരുപത് വരെയുള്ള വേദവാക്യങ്ങളെ ആസ്പദമാക്കിയാണ് സോ ബിഫോർ ജീസസ് അസെൻഡിങ് ടു ഹെവൻ he is talking to his disciples kartava yesu christ swargarogalam cheyyanadin mumbai tande arima sishyanmarode than samsarikkiyana he is talking about very serious thing kartava is talking about very serious thing kartava yesu christ valare gauravamaya oru vishayam sishyanmarode parayana there he is indicating what the disciples has to do കർത്താവ് യേശു ക്രിസ്തു ശിഷ്യന്മാരോട് പറയുന്നത് അവർ എന്ത് ചെയ്യണം എന്നതിനെ കുറിച്ചാണ് കർത്താവ് യേശു ക്രിസ്തു തന്റെ ശിഷ്യന്മാരോടും അതുപോലെ ജനസമൂഹത്തോടും പല കാര്യങ്ങൾ പറഞ്ഞിരുന്നു കർത്താവ് യേശു ക്രിസ്തു അവരോട് പറഞ്ഞത് എന്ത് ചെയ്യണം എന്ത് ചെയ്തുകൂടാ എന്നുള്ളതാണ് kind of mission he came came over here he has done it kartava yesu christi bhoomiyil vannapol than end sisushi aanu cheyyunnade ennadine kuriche vyaktamaya or aruvum bodhavum thanikundayirunnu because he has that commitment kaaranam aa sisushiyode thanike neethi pulartha neethi pulartirunnu god sent him to here or on earth with a very good intention കർത്തവ യേശു ക്രിസ്തുവിനെ പിതാവാം ദൈവം ഈ ലോകത്തേക്ക് ഒരു പ്രത്യേക ദൗത്യത്തോടു കൂടിയാണ് അയച്ചത് സോ ഹി വാണ്ട്സ് ടു ഫുൾഫിൽ ദാറ്റ് കമ്മിറ്റ്മെന്റ് ആ ഉത്തരവാദിത്വം കർത്താവ് യേശു ക്രിസ്തു നിർവഹിക്കണം എന്നുള്ള ആ ഒരു ചിന്ത അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ആ ഒരു കാര്യം പിതാവിനുണ്ടായിരുന്നു വൈൽ ഹി വാസ് ഹിയർ ഹി മെറ്റ് സിക്ക് പീപ്പിൾ പറഞ്ഞു വൈൽ ഹി വാസ് ഹിയർ he met sick people kartava yesu christ bhoomi il ayirna pol than rogigalde samivathayikke chellugeyum avarku saukyam kodikkeyum cheyidu and also he teach the people ha kartava yesu christ sishyanmare padipichu he teach he teach very good things we can that sermon on the mount be attitudes they are also god teach them in very way kartava yesu christ nalla vaakkal തൻ്റെ സേർമനുന്ന മൗണ്ടിൽ കൂടി ശിഷ്യന്മാരെയും ജനങ്ങളെയും പഠിപ്പിച്ചു ആൻഡ് ആൾസോ ഹി ഹാസ് എ കമ്മിറ്റ് വാട്ട് ദ ഡ്യൂട്ടി ഹി ഹാസ് ടു ഫുൾഫിൽ ഹി ഡു ദാറ്റ് കർത്താവ് യേശു ക്രിസ്തു തൻ്റെ ഡ്യൂട്ടി അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ജോലി എന്താണ് അത് ചെയ്യുവാൻ താൻ ആഗ്രഹിച്ചു മെനി ഓഫ് ഹസ് മെനി ഓഫ് ഹസ് ആൾസോ ഹാവ് ദ കമ്മിറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ബട്ട് വി ഡു നോട്ട് നോ വാട്ട് വി ഹാവ് ടു ഡു ഇതുപോലെ നമ്മളിൽ പലർക്കും പല കാര്യം ചെയ്യാനുള്ള ആ ഒരു കമ്മിറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ഉണ്ടെങ്കിലും പക്ഷേ നമുക്ക് എന്ത് ചെയ്യണം എന്നുള്ളത് അറിയില്ല സോ ടുഡേ ദ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ഗ്രാജുവേറ്റ് സോ ഐ വാണ്ട് ടു സേ ദാറ്റ് യു മസ്റ്റ് ഹാവ് ദ കമ്മിറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് വാട്ട് യു ലേൺ ഇന്ന് ഗ്രാജുവേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്ന സഹോദരന്മാരോടും സഹോദരിയോടും എനിക്ക് പറയുവാനുള്ളത് നിങ്ങൾ ദൈവമായിട്ടുള്ള ഉടമ്പടിയിൽ നിങ്ങളുടെ ദൗത്യം നിവർത്തിക്കണം വെൻ ജീസസ് കെയിം ഓവർ ഹിയർ ദ പീപ്പിൾ മിസ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റുഡ് ടോട്ടലി യേശു ക്രിസ്തു ഈ ഭൂമിയിൽ കടന്നു പോകുന്നപ്പോൾ ജനങ്ങൾ യേശു ക്രിസ്തുവിനെ തെറ്റിദ്ധരിച്ചു ഹി കെയിം ഓൺ ഹിയർ ടു ബിക്കം കിങ് ഇറ്റ് എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ് എനി കൈൻസ് ഓഫ് നേഷൻ യേശു ക്രിസ്തുവിൻ്റെ ആ വരവിനെ ജനങ്ങൾ തെറ്റിദ്ധരിച്ചത് അവൻ ഭൂമിയിലെ രാജാവാൻ രാജാവാകാൻ പോകുന്നു അതുപോലെ ഈ രാജ്യത്തെ നിയന്ത്രിക്കാൻ പോകുന്നു എന്നിങ്ങനെയുള്ള ചിന്തകളായിരുന്നു അവരെല്ലാം പലപ്പോഴും ഈ ലോകപരമായിട്ടുള്ള കാര്യങ്ങളെ കുറിച്ചുള്ള ചിന്തയും ആ ഒരു പാരവുമായിരുന്നു അവരുടെ ഉള്ളിൽ എന്നാൽ യേശു ക്രിസ്തുവിൻ്റെ മിഷൻ മറ്റൊന്നായിരുന്നു many times he remember the uh, all the disciples and the people the people does not understand what he has the commitment yesu christu eppozhum janangale kurichum sishyanmare kurichum aruvum bodhavum ullavanayirunnu ennal janangalkke yesu christuvinte dauthyate kuriche seriyaya or aruv illayirunnu so he fulfill his commitment യേശു ക്രിസ്തു തന്റെ ദൗത്യം താൻ നിവർത്തിച്ചു ദ കമ്മിറ്റ്മെന്റ് ഈസ് ദാറ്റ് ടു സേവ് സിനേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഡൈഡ് ഓൺ ദ ക്രോസ് ഓഫ് കാൽവറി ആൻഡ് റിഡീം ദ പീപ്പിൾ ഫ്രം റെച്ചഡ് സിൻ 
കർത്തവ യേശു ക്രിസ്തുവിൻ്റെ ദൗത്യം എന്തായിരുന്നു എന്ന് ചോദിച്ചാൽ മനുഷ്യവർഗത്തെ അവരുടെ ഭാവത്തിൽ നിന്ന് വിടുവിച്ച് അവർക്ക് വേണ്ടി കാൽ കൃഷി യാഗമായി തീരുക എന്നുള്ളതായിരുന്നു അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് യേശു ക്രിസ്തു കാൽവറി ക്രൂശിൽ യാഗമായി തീർന്നത് ഉദ്ദേശത്തോടെമ്മീഷൻ Eighteen to twenty, eighteen says that the Lord, God has given all the authority in the heaven and on earth. അതാണ് മത്തായുടെ സുവിശേഷം ഇരുപത്തിയെട്ടാം അധ്യായം പതിനെട്ട് മുതൽ ഇരുപത് വരെയുള്ള വാക്യങ്ങളിൽ യേശു ക്രിസ്തു ശിഷ്യന്മാരോട് പറഞ്ഞത് ആകയാൽ നിങ്ങൾ പുറപ്പെടുവാനും അതുപോലെ സുവിശേഷം പ്രസംഗിക്കുവാനും സകല അധികാരവും അവൻ നൽകി എന്നുള്ളതും അവരോടുകൂടെ എപ്പോഴും ഉണ്ടായിരിക്കും എന്നുള്ള വാക്തിത്വം പറയുന്നത് ഒന്നാമതായി യേശു ക്രിസ്തുവിനോ ദൈവത്തോടുള്ള നമ്മുടെ ആ സമർപ്പണം രണ്ടാമതായി ദൈവം നമുക്ക് നൽകിയിരിക്കുന്ന നിയോഗം നിയോഗം എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ എന്താണ് എന്ന് ചോദിച്ചാൽ ഭൂമിയുടെ അറ്റത്തോളം പോയി സുവിശേഷം പ്രസംഗിച്ച് ജനങ്ങളെ ക്രിസ്തുവിലേക്ക് ആനയിക്കുക എന്നുള്ളതാണ് to make the disciples go to the nation go and tell about jesus is died for us kadannu poi panam undakunnado rendo moono nilayilulla manimaaligal undakunnado alla yesu christu namakku nalgiyirikkunna commission avante commission endana ennu chodichal poolo okeyum poi avante saakshigal aaguvan vendiyulladana the paul says if i am not preaching the gospel woe unto me ഉത്തരവാദിത്വത്തെ ഇതുപോലെ നമുക്ക് ലഭിച്ചിരിക്കുന്ന നിയോഗം എന്താണ് എന്ന് ചോദിച്ചാൽ ലോകമൊക്കെയും പോയി കർത്താവ് യേശു ക്രിസ്തുവിന് വേണ്ടി ജനങ്ങളെ ശിഷ്യരാക്കുക എന്നുള്ളതാണ് ജനങ്ങൾ യേശു ക്രിസ്തുവിനെ പിൻപറ്റിയപ്പോൾ അവരുടെ വള്ളവും വലയും ഭൗതിക ജോലികളും കുടുംബവും മറ്റുമൊക്കെ ഉപേക്ഷിച്ച് യേശു ക്രിസ്തുവിനെ പിൻപറ്റി സോ ദാറ്റ്സ് വൈ ദ ലോഡ് സെറ്റ് ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് വേർഡ് ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് ദോ ഐ ആം വിത്ത് യു എൻഡ് ഓഫ് ദിസ് വേൾഡ് ആമേൻ ഐ ആമേൻ ആമേൻ അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് കർത്താവ് യേശു ക്രിസ്തു ശിഷ്യന്മാരോട് പറഞ്ഞത് ഇതാ ലോകാവസാനം വരെയും ഞാൻ നിങ്ങളോട് കൂടെ ഉണ്ട് എന്നുള്ളത് പ്രൈസ് ദ ലോഡ് പ്രൈസ് ദ ലോഡ് ഹി ഈസ് വിത്ത് us അവൻ നമ്മോട് കൂടെ ഉണ്ട് ഹി ഈസ് ഗിവിംഗ് ദ കംഫർട്ട് ടു ദ പീപ്പിൾ ജനങ്ങൾക്ക് ആശ്വാസം അവൻ നൽകുന്നു ദ ലോഡ് കാൻ ഓൺലി കൺസോൾഡേറ്റ് ആൻഡ് കംഫർട്ട് ടു ദ പീപ്പിൾ നോബഡി കൻ ഡു ദാറ്റ് കർത്താവ് യേശു ക്രിസ്തു ജനങ്ങൾക്ക് ആശ്വാസവും അതുപോലെ സന്തോഷവും നൽകുന്നു അതുപോലെ ലോകത്തുള്ള ഒരു മനുഷ്യർക്കും സന്തോഷമോ ആഹ്ലാദമോ കൊടുക്കുവാൻ കഴിയില്ല ഈവന ഐ തിങ്ക് ദാറ്റ് 150 ഇയേഴ്സ് ബാക്ക് ഒൻ ഫെലോ കെയിം ഫ്രം ഇംഗ്ലണ്ട് ഹിയർ ദെ പുട്ട് ദി നെയിം മിഷൻ ഹിൽ ഹിയർ ദെ മേഡ് എ സ്കൂൾ ആൻഡ് ഓർഫനേജ് ആൻഡ് एवरीथिंग ദെൻ ആഫ്റ്റർ ദാറ്റ് ഓൺലി ഡോക്ടർ പി വി ബോട്ട് സം ലാൻഡ് ഹിയർ ഏകദേശം നൂറ്റി അമ്പത് വർഷങ്ങൾക്ക് മുമ്പ് ഇംഗ്ലണ്ടിൽ നിന്നൊരു മിഷനറി വരികയും അദ്ദേഹം സ്കൂളും മറ്റ് പല കാര്യങ്ങളും ഇവിടെ ആരംഭിച്ചു പിൽക്കാലത്തെ ഈ ഈ വസ്തുവും മറ്റും ഒക്കെയും പി ബി അലസാണ്ട സാർ വാങ്ങുകയും ഇവിടെ ഇപ്പോൾ ബൈബിൾ കോളേജും മറ്റ് പ്രസ്ഥാനങ്ങളും ഇവിടെ ആരംഭിക്കുവാനിടയായി We are out of the way. Don't think that. We are in the right way. 
നമ്മളുടെ കൈവശം വേദപുസ്തകം നാം എടുക്കുകയാണെങ്കിൽ ഒരിക്കലും ചിന്തിക്കരുത് നാം മറ്റൊരു വഴിക്കാണ് എന്നുള്ളത് തീർച്ചയായും ദൈവം നമ്മെ സഹായിക്കും നാം വേദപുസ്തകം നമ്മുടെ കയ്യിൽ ഏന്ത് ചെയ്യുകയാണെങ്കിൽ നാം കർത്താവിൻ്റെ വേല ചെയ്യുകയാണെങ്കിൽ കർത്താവ് നമ്മെ അനുഗ്രഹിക്കുകയും നമ്മെ തക്ക സമയത്ത് അവൻ ഉയർത്തുകയും ചെയ്യും He has the commitment and commission and comfort. Kartava Yeshu Christu na nammalodu oru dauthyam unde oru niyogam unde adu pole namakku aashwasam nalgunu. Wherever you go whatever you do the Namal, Lord can comfort you. Nammal evide poyalum edu tarathulla sisushi cheyidalum deivathinte aashwasam adu pole avante kruvayum nammalodu kude undagum. Many missionaries from America, England and many places they came to different parts of the world and do the ministry but the lord comfort them when the time comes england il ninnum american aikya naadugal ninnum 100 kanakkil tharaalam missionaryar logathinte vivida bhagangalil suvishesham enna divashigindey divashigeyumendi avar suvishesha pravartanathine kadannu poi i am preaching that living fact about living god ഞാൻ പറയുന്നത് ജീവനുള്ള ദൈവത്തെ കുറിച്ചുള്ള ജീവനുള്ള സന്ദേശം ഹഡ്സൺ ടൈലർ എന്ന മിഷണറി ചൈനയിലേക്ക് കടന്നുപോയി വില്യം ഖേരി കേം ടു ആയിരത്തി എഴുന്നൂറ്റി ഇരുപത്തി ഒന്നിൽ വില്യം ഖേരി എന്ന പ്രസിദ്ധനായ വ്യക്തി ഇന്ത്യയിൽ ഒരു മിഷണറി ആയി കടന്നു വന്നു or oh, to the people adu pole anegra suvisheshamai indeyilum mattu rajyangalilum kadannu pogugeyum suvisesham ethichu anega sthalangalil so friends you are leaving some days you are going back to your home so i want to tell you that what are the things you studied proclaim there and make the people and bring the people the light of the world with the word of god സഹോദരങ്ങളെ ചില ദിവസങ്ങൾ കഴിയുമ്പോൾ നിങ്ങൾ ഇവിടെ നിന്ന് നിങ്ങളുടെ ഗ്രാമങ്ങളിലേക്ക് നിങ്ങൾ മടങ്ങിപ്പോകും എന്നാൽ ഒരു കാര്യം നാം ഓർക്കുക നിങ്ങൾ കർത്താവായ യേശു ക്രിസ്തുവിൻ്റെ വചനവും ഏന്തി നിങ്ങൾ അനേക സ്ഥലങ്ങളിൽ കടന്നു പോകണം നമ്മൾ പലപ്പോഴും പാടാറുണ്ട് എന്നെ സമർപ്പിക്കുന്നു എന്നെ സമർപ്പിക്കുന്നു എന്നെ സമർപ്പിക്കുന്നു എന്നാൽ ഞാൻ നിങ്ങളിൽ നിന്ന് ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നത് നിങ്ങൾ പൂർണ്ണമായും കർത്താവിന് വേണ്ടി സമർപ്പിച്ച് അവൻ്റെ വേലയ്ക്ക് വേണ്ടി നിങ്ങളെ സമർപ്പിക്കും ലോകാവസാനം വരെയും ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ സാന്നിധ്യം നിങ്ങളോട് കൂടെ ഉണ്ടാകും നിങ്ങൾ കർത്താവിൻ്റെ വേലയ്ക്ക് വേണ്ടി കടന്നു പോയാൽ സോ let us take a decision lord wherever you send me i am ready to go the Adho, lord is with you adagonde deiva sanne namukku thanne oru theenumanam edukkam deivame nee enne evide aichalum naan ninde suvishesham arikkum nee ennodu kooda irikkanam ennulla aa oru vaanchiyum thalpiriyam namukkunda the lord may bless you according to riches and glory thank you very much deiva ningale daralamaayi samarthiyai anugrahikkatte stotram thank you sir for your excellent message especially for the graduation student representing the graduating student brother f r konak will come forward and sh- will share his testament Good evening everyone. Respected. Once again good evening everyone. Respected chairperson, honorable presidents of KCTS, Mrs. Amukutia Alexander, 
Honorable Vice Presidents of KCDS, Dr. Ray Alexander, and Directors of KCDS, Reverend Dr. Josh T. Coren, most respected principals of KCDS, Reverend Dr. Babu Samon, and Academic Dean, Reverend Bijumon VP, Register, Reverend C.P. Racho, and all my beloved professors, all the pastors of Church of Christ, and all my friends, and on the crowd. First of all, let us give thanks to Almighty God for his unmeasurable love, care, and protection. I'm much grateful to the authorities of these institutions for giving me such a good opportunity to stand before you on behalf of all the graduation students with untold joyful honors and pleasures to share our unforgettable experiences within three years in this campus. Before I'm going to start, let me want to introduce myself. Well, my name is Ipa Pikonyak from Nagaland, and I belong to Longwa Baptist Church. I wish to express to each and every one of the families of KCDS our deepest and honors gratitude for your good care and support for not sinking our lifeboat while we were three years journey passing through very dangerous ocean. In the years of 2019, we came here without knowing the word of God as a planned purpose with a different characters, activities, manners, and language. But after we came here, we learned how to read the words of God and behave with each other in Christian way of life. Unfortunately, we will not able to come and join the campus in our second years because of the pandemic situation, but we attended the online classes and do all our act academic activities. We learned lots of things that's on our because of your concern and undefinable love and care. And still many colleges are not open up, but we are here very safely under your guidance and concern. When we joined in this seminary, we could not even talk or converse with each other in English, but this day we can do. And today, I'm standing here and speaking in English in front of you all. Before we came here, we were like a blind before God, but today our eyes are totally open up. We could see and knew who is the real God. Before we came here, we don't have any confidence to face the crowd and audience, but today we can preach the words of God. We can talk without fear. That's where you train us. That's where you build our, up our life. Now we are ready to carry the cross of Jesus Christ with the powers of Holy Spirit, which you have applied in our life. Even till this morning, I thought that I may in deep sleep uh, and I am dreaming the degradations, but now I am realizing here this is really our dreams come true, which we got in 2019, three years back. We are extremely thankful to each and every one of you to build our spiritual life and preparing our future ministry. We are thankful to your care and love while our life in the seminaries more than like all your child. We don't have nothing to give back to you all, but God Almighty will bless you abundantly. And we will never forget your support, love, concern, and teaching. I wish to say that from today onwards, we will be in various parts of India, but I hope that we will never forget to upholding all of you by our prayers. Once again, thank you so much for everything what you have done us and did us. Thank you so much to everyone. May God bless us. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Rafa, for sharing your testimony or representing the graduating students. Now, Brother C. Ulam Khanak will come forward for the special song.
I greet you in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I respect that dear person and also beloved uh, believers. Thank you so much for giving me the uh, opportunity to sing the song. Thank you so much. So now I'm going to sing the song. The title is I Have Reached the Ending of My Way. So uh, who knows? Somebody may cry by hearing my song. <laughs> Through the valley of this life I have wandered And I walk for Jesus all along the way But now I see the sun for me is sitting I have reached the ending of my way Lord, I've been faithful in the service you have given and the harvest of the field Lord I have done but now my steps are growing weary Lord I'm waiting I'm ready to go home Looking back upon the life I live for Jesus I can see how He has blessed me on the way And the tears I say just have to give me humble And His burden only tells me how to pray Lord, I've been faithful in the service you have been well, and the harvest of the field, Lord, I have done. But now my steps are growing weary. Lord, I'm waiting, I'm ready to go home. Thought I had to leave so many friends behind me And the parting of far away will break my heart But I will fall down inside the gate of heaven Where the general of God will never part Lord, I've been faithful in the service you have given and the harvest of the field lord i have done but now my steps are growing weary lord i'm waiting i'm ready to go home lord i'm waiting Thank you. Thank you, brother, for an excellent uh, message. Now, graduating students, listen to me. It is uh, time for the convocation address. And Dr. Roy Alexander, he is the director of Mercy Hospital and the Mercy College of Nursing and vice president of Church of Christ Mission. He holds a couple of bachelor's degree and uh, a master and PhD from a prestigious university from USA. And uh, it is a blessing from God that we have him today for the convocation address. And with all due respect, uh, I invite uh, Dr. Roy Alexander for convocation address. Now, Dr. Roy Alexander. Praise the Lord. Good evening. First, uh, let me say something in Malayalam. Now, let's talk about the 
മനസ്സിലാകാത്തവർക്ക് വേണ്ടി പറയാം ആ പാട്ടിൻ്റെ കോറസ് പറയുന്നത് കർത്താവേ നീ എന്നെ ഏൽപ്പിച്ച ദൗത്യം ഞാൻ വിശ്വസ്തയോടെ പൂർത്തിയാക്കി ഇപ്പം എനിക്ക് പ്രായമായി ഞാൻ വീട്ടിൽ പോകാൻ വേണ്ടി ഒരുങ്ങിയിരിക്കുകയാണ് നമുക്ക് എത്ര പേർക്ക് ഹൗ മെനി ഓഫേഴ്സ് ക്യാൻ വെരി ബോൾഡ്ലി സേ ഗാഡ് ഐ ഫിനിഷ് മൈ വർക്ക് ഫെയ്ത്ഫുള്ളി നമുക്ക് എത്ര പേർക്കത് പറയാൻ പറ്റും എന്നെ ഏൽപ്പിച്ച ദൗത്യം ഞാൻ വിശ്വസ്തയോടെ ചെയ്തു തീർത്തു അമേസിംഗ് സോങ് ഐ ഹേർഡ് ദറ്റ് സോങ് കപ്പൾ ടൈംസ് ഓൺ ദ പാസ്റ്റ് but it does really hit you hard if you listen to the words so my prayer to all the graduating class of 2022 is that when you are ready to hang up your mantle you can say god i have finished my work faithfully and uh, that's my prayer for all of us young old men women doesn't matter god has given each one of us a mission a calling and how many of us can very boldly say because apostle paul said i know whom i believe now i'm ready to go so how many of us can very boldly say when we are ready to go it may be in 20 years maybe next moment but how many of us can very boldly say God I have finished whatever you gave me with that prayer let me move on to the the verse that we have for today from the <clears throat> gospel of Matthew chapter 28 the last three verses this is a verse that we all know by heart verse 18 to 21 all authority in heaven and earth has been given to me therefore go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit and teaching them to obey everything i have commanded to you and surely i am with you always to the very end of age I call this a sandwiched promise. If you read the 18th verse it say all authority has been given to me. So the one who is telling us to do something in the 19th verse is putting out a preamble or a preface and says I have all the authority. Not only in earth also in heaven i not only control you here i control your destiny and the one who can control your destiny says all authority has been given to me and then in the last verse the 20th verse at the end he says lo i'm with you till the end of times first he says I'm, i have the power then he says i am with you until this whole thing is done as the song said you have a mission and god is telling you that you go do the mission because i have all the authority and i'm with you all the time if you really watch closely in tv you see the prime minister of india traveling and you see people running along his car you see the president of united states going in the car and you see people running alongside of the car that's their security they got loaded guns they got everything god knows what they have but that gives the rest of them the security that okay i'm protected and like one of the preachers said i'm not talking about somebody with a hand revolver when it comes to jesus he is the one with the big magnum gun standing next to you that nobody touches you he is there right with you he is there right with you to protect you from anything and everything that would come your way because he says i have all the authority in the world 
I have all the authority you can think of. And then he says, I am with you till the end of time. Not only that I have all the authority, I'm going to walk beside you, I'm going to protect you, I'm going to be there for you till the end of time. The question is, for what? Especially to the graduating class, the 19th verse becomes very, very important. It says, therefore, go and make disciples. You go and make disciples. You go do your job. I will protect you. And the next one says, Baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And teaching them to obey everything I have commanded to you. You know that word everything has a lot of meaning and I want to dwell a little deep into it with one thing he said. He said make disciples. Jesus never said make somebody a Christian. Jesus never said you know have them come to your church. Jesus never said, have them listen to you preach. Jesus said, make disciples. You know, when I think about this seminary, I feel very proud in one way because I have a lot of friends in the, what we call the, 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 the I have a lot of preachers, a lot of workers in the Christian field. And I'm very proud to say that, at least in the state of Kerala, which I can talk about, the graduates of this seminary and prior to being the seminary, this Bible college is today ministering in every New Testamental church in the state. I don't think any other seminary in the state can boast with that. We got a whole bunch of people sitting here, half of them are graduates of the seminary. There are people sitting here on the stage, they're graduates of the seminary. There are people, I mean, if you look at the denomination, I don't want to name them, every Pentecostal denomination, every Brethren denomination, every Baptist denomination, every Christian denomination in the state has graduates of this, sermon, this seminary. And it's because of a very simple reason. You know, hats off to all the teachers, kudos to all the teachers sitting here. We never taught anybody any theology. We only taught them the Bible. We never interpreted the Bible. We never circumvented the Bible. We taught them the Bible. And if you are taught the real word of God without me telling you what it is, the Holy Spirit will teach you what it is. And if the Holy Spirit really taught you, then you can go and preach to anybody because you have the promise of God that I am with you till the end of time. So you should go with that today. And one more thing from the words. I don't want to go into baptizing people or any of those things. <coughs> and the 20th verse says, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded to you. People who taught you the New Testament especially the Gospels, would have probably taken every command of Jesus Christ and taught you what are the commands of Jesus Christ. He said, teaching them to obey every commandment. Jesus talked about, you know, Jesus gave one commandment and took away the Ten Commandments away. Because superior to that. And I want to go into that for a moment today as you embark on your journey to be a preacher the Gospel of John, chapter 13. Gospel of John, chapter 13, verse 34. It says, A new commandment I give you. Love one another as I have loved you. So you must love one another. By this all men will know that you are my disciple if you love one another. In Matthew, last chapter, second last verse, Jesus says, teach them to do everything I taught you, everything I commanded you. And in John chapter 13, 
Verse 34 says, As I have loved you, you must love one another. How did Jesus love us? We can quote hundreds of scriptures. You know, he came down from heaven. He thought equality with God was not needed. He came down. And he dwelt among us. And he died on the cross. And Jesus said, Greater love hath no man than this, than the one who lays out his life for his friend. That's how he loved us. He laid down his life for us. And Jesus tells us that that's the commandment that he is giving to us. Love one another. Not the love of the world. Jesus is saying, love your brother like how I loved you. And then, by this the world will know that you are my disciples. I want to challenge you today. If you let the world know that you are his disciple, you don't need to preach. Amen. You don't need to run a miracle crusade. You don't need to do any of those things. If the world can look at you and say that you are the disciple of Jesus, people will become disciples Amen. they would want to follow you because people would leave the love of Jesus radiating from you you leading by example there are thousands and thousands of first century second century Christians who loved others by live, giving up their life as Jesus you always wonder <coughs> excuse me you always wonder, how did this establishment, Jesus Christ and 12 people, just Jesus Christ and 12 people and one of them went astray. So Jesus and 11 people 2,000 years ago, how did it become what we see in the world today? Under several banners, we see, you know, different churches, Different banners, different faith subsets. But the primary objective is Jesus. How did it become this big? It's purely because, you know, you guys probably studied a lot of church history. It's purely because the early church fathers. And, you know, everybody has a, a what do you call, an iPhone or a Samsung phone. And there are a lot of messages that comes on WhatsApp. And one thing that has been circulating very widely is how did all the disciples of Jesus Christ die? Except John, nobody died a normal life. Why did they die? They did not die because they preached the gospel. They died because they listened to their master who said, love your neighbor like how I have loved you. So, and we know the story of the Samaritan and Jesus explains very clearly who is your neighbor. He's not necessarily the one next door to you. He's probably five continents away. Everybody is your neighbor. And Jesus said, love him like how I have loved you. The early church fathers, I've had the privilege to be in a lot of those places where they were killed. And when you go there and read about what they went through, I can guarantee you there are not more than 10% of the early church fathers had a peaceful death. Over 90% laid down their life People say they laid down their life for Christianity. No, they laid down their life because they understood the meaning of this verse that he said, love him like how I have loved you. So, today before I stop, I want to leave you all with this challenge. Not just you. Everybody here. Let us take this verse, the 34th verse of the 13th chapter of Gospel according to John. And he said, 
and Jesus said that's a new commandment you know you we read this and we all think oh oh I got to love him it's okay but you read this verse understanding what it means it very clearly says be ready to lay down your life for your brother be ready to lay down your life for your enemy be ready to lay down your life for anybody and everybody that comes into your contact your horizon that's what this verse means try to understand that verse that way it becomes a pretty heavy verse it is a very 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 heavy verse we all love people that we all love each other because we haven't done anything bad against each other try loving somebody that you don't even know better yet try loving somebody who is doing bad things to you and jesus said love him not just the love of the you know the worldly love that we do love him like how i loved you that's my challenge today to all the graduating class as well as everybody sitting here let us try to love like how jesus loved us if it comes to putting down our life in love for somebody let us do that and let us show that we are the two true disciples of god jesus said with that the world will know that you are my disciples if you go to acts it says that in antioch the disciples were called christians bible just refers that verse and moves on but they were called christians because they were willing to lay down their life and love others so let us make it a point today and let us make a vow today let us make a promise today that i'm going to have at least one person look at me and say he's a christian i'm going to have at least one person look at me and say he's a disciple of jesus christ Amen. if you can do that let me reiterate one more time and tell you if you can do that you don't need to preach you don't need to be a scholar in the bible you don't need to be a you know like we call a firebrand preacher you don't need to be any of those people if somebody can look at you and say he's a true disciple of jesus people would follow you so you can make them disciples and you can baptize them in the name of the father of the son and of the holy spirit and teach them Amen. to do everything what jesus has commanded to us may god bless everybody thank you dr roy sir for a excellent and challenging message i am very sure it is this message was challenged not only the graduating students but all the faculties also and personally uh, i myself was challenged by the excellent message now it is time for prayer of blessing and uh, now i invite to dr sabu yes philip one of our respected faculty member for blessing prayer of blessing and nammala uh, ivare anugrahichu prarthikkanayittu povuyana appol ellavarkkum ezhunnelgo all may please stand hallelujah hallelujah let's all pray together thank you jesus thank you thank you jesus thank you jesus hallelujah 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 let's all pray together let's all open our mouth and pray in the name of jesus christ let the hand of god should move upon each graduate as they are about to graduate in this evening thank you thank you jesus thank you hallelujah 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 loving father in heaven we thank you so much for this blessed evening that we we granted in our lives 
to stand together in your presence to call you as Abba Father. We thank you so much for your blessings upon our lives. We thank you so much for our 34th graduation ceremony of Kerala Christian Theological Seminary. We thank you so much for all the graduating candidates. We commit each one in your mighty care in this very moment of God. Father, we commit all the graduates in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Bless each graduate of God. Lord, anoint each graduate with your spirit and your, your wisdom and your knowledge. And oh God, you, you grant each graduate the spirit of ministry, the spirit of evangelism, the spirit of love upon each graduate. Lord, you stir up each one to do your work for the extension of your glory. Lord, once again, I bless on behalf of this college to each graduate. Bless everyone. Thank you so much for hearing your request. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Now, for this moment, uh, we are waiting for. Now we are going to present the gra presenting the graduates. Before presenting the graduates, graduating candidates, with the permission of the authorities, I would like to say a few words, rather few reflections about Kerala Christian Theological Seminary. Maybe some of you, to you, I am very new to this place. But I want to tell you that I am not a new person here. I was working here for so many years with uh, Dr. late Dr. P. B. Alexander. And I, while I was sitting here, those memories came to me. And due to the COVID and all protocol and all, where we are very few people only gathering here, and it was like thousands of people were gathering usually the last all graduation service we already had. I am very conscious about that time frame, but I'm, therefore I will be very short in my words. To begin with, I would like to honor doc, the memory of Dr. P. V. Alexander, who was promoted to glory. This is the first commence, commencement service. This is the first graduation ceremony without having our president, Dr. Phoebe Alexander. He led last 33 graduation ceremony. As a president of this institution, Dr. Phoebe, you are not forgotten. Your vision given by the God is being carried out through the valuable leadership of Dr. Roy Alexander, along with all others, and it shall continue till, if God will, till the coming of our Lord. Kerala Christian Theological Seminary is compl completing 34th year of teaching the Bible and educating and equipping learners to impact the world for our Lord Jesus Christ. Today we are here to celebrate and acknowledge the hard work and persistence of each one, each of our students who are going to graduate. Each of you Candidates are motivated for this study for the different reasons. For some it is lifelong dream and whatever the motivation, it is a special <coughs> achievement. Bible College is a very special place and it is very unique. It is not like other colleges because in the Bible College you are learning, you learned the Bible, the very living word of God. Now you, a bunch of young boys, and one sister is going to graduate. And you are going to, it is a stepping stone of your life, your ministry and education. See, 
when they graduate from the other college, outside the college, when they graduate, they get a title. Maybe like engineers, doctors, lawyers, nurses, and so on. And what title you are going to get when you graduate? Maybe someone, some may say that I am the pastors or evangelists or Bible teachers. Maybe nowadays they call it reverence. But I won't tell you that that is not the title you are going to get. What Roy said here, Dr. Roy said, you are going to be the disciple of Jesus Christ. That title you are going to get. Jesus said, go and make, teach them and make them disciples. Teach them and make them disciples. We were teaching you. And we were making the disciple of Christ. And you studied and learn it now. And now you are going to graduate it. And since you are going to graduate it, you become the disciple of Jesus Christ. As you are the disciple of Jesus Christ, go and teach and make others, other people, other people within your community, maybe around your house, your village, whatever, wherever you God send you, make them disciple of Jesus Christ. I don't want to take more time. After this graduation, you are going to the field. Maybe someone going for the higher studies. But it is not easy as you are here. Jesus said, I am sending you like a lamb among the wolves. There will be a lot of challenges when you do the ministries. But Jesus said, I will be with you at the end of your life. Let me conclude with a quote. Listen to that quote. When God pushes you, when you are in the ministry, when God pushes you to the edge, trust him fully. Because only two things can happen. Either he will catch you when you fall, or he will teach you how to fly. I will repeat it again. When God pushes you to the edge, trust him fully, trust God fully. Because only two things can happen. The first thing, either he will catch you when you fall, or he will teach you how to fly. Malayalam Ariyavana Pastor Mark Vendi Adhyan Malayalatil Parayanu. They even Ningale would you cliff or Sarateka, Vida Takadi, the Thali and Gilim. Ningle Uri Kilim, five Padera, the Amanitan, a trustee here. Karan the Andigari Matrame Sambaviku, Ningle Vinal, Am Ningle Pidigim. I lingle Ningle Parakuan, Am Padigim. Let me conclude with that words. Take that words. God is. Always be with you. KCTS, as the principal of this college, will be, we promise you, on behalf of this faculty and board of trustees, that we will be praying for you. And we will promise all your support for your future ministry and future life. And you can come back here for your further studies. And not only you alone, bring others, your brothers, your sisters, of course, not sisters. Maybe in the future we'll have the sisters. Uh, your brothers and friends, and uh, tell your pastors and your colleagues about this college. And of course, the person who, the brother who shared the testimony, he's already said what we have, what he has received from this college. You don't share, at all, not only here, go to your place and share about this college and bring many people uh, to this college. And may God bless you. And again, we promise on behalf of the Board of Trustees, we will be with you for all your journey of spiritual life now we are going i am going to present the um, graduating students first of all i will read uh, one by one and uh, introduce them you to the floor then i will read uh, uh, then i will present them you all to the president g longcha please stand up he is from nagaland from mon district and he plans for higher studies. Nagamani Kwaneak. He is also from Nagaland, Mon District, plan for higher studies. FRP Kwaneak. He is from Nagaland, Mon District, plan for higher studies. Saroj Raida. He is from Odisha and uh, plan for higher studies. Pothu Raju B. From Andhra Pradesh, Gundu District, plan for church ministry. Kuros Saber is from Odisha, 
Gajabat district plan for higher studies. Wanagat, Wangat Koneak from Nagaland Mount District plan for church ministry. Yulam Koneak from Nagaland Mount District plan for higher studies. Lee Hong from Nagaland Mount District plan for church ministry. And there is for one another sister we have, Mary Bindu Thomas. Please stand up. She is from Alapi District, uh, Kerala. These are the students. Uh, Mary, Mary Thomas is uh, Mary Bindu Thomas is our MD candidate. The other are BTH candidate. It is my honor and privilege to present the graduates, prospective president, the following students, those who completed the requirement prescribed for the course Bachelor of Theology and Master of Divinity with the recommendation of respected faculty. I take great pleasure to present them to you, sir, for the conferring the decree respectively. On behalf of our president, Mrs. Amakuti Alexander, Vice, Vice President will confer the degree to you all. On the recommendation of the faculty of the Kerala Christian Theological Seminary, the board of directors have <clears throat> decided to grant degree to you. By the virtue of the authority bestowed upon me as the Vice President of Kerala Christian Theological Seminary, I confer this degree for the glory of God. You must maintain and keep the integrity and high standard of the degree which you have received. May God bless you. G. Longsha. Okay. Magna Koneak. Yefa Koneak Saroj Raida.
Poto Raju. Kuros Sabar. Wangda Wangda Koneak. Si Yulam Koneak. Lee Hong. And we have one candidate for Master of Divinity, Bin Mary Bindu Thomas. Respected President, the following student, those who following student, completed the requirement prescribed for the course of Ma Master of Divinity. With the recommendation of respected faculty, I take great pleasure to present them, present her to you, sir, for conferring the degree respectively. On the recommendation of the faculty of the Kerala Christian Theological Seminary, the Board of Directors have decided to grant you the degree of Master of Divinity. By virtue of the authority, Wasted upon me as the Vice President of Kerala Christian Theological Seminary, I confer this degree for the glory of God. You must maintain and keep the integrity and high standard of the degree which you have received. May God bless you. Mary Bindu Thomas. As we stand, as, please all stand, please. Dr. Edison Thomas will come forward and he will lead us in commissioning prayer. Before I pray, I would like to read a scripture portion. Gospel of Luke chapter 9 verses 1 to 6. Jesus called the tall disciples together and he gave them power and authority to drive out all demons and to cure disease. Then he sent them out to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. He said to them, take nothing with you for the trip. No walking stick, no beggar's bag, no food, no money, not even an extra shirt. Whenever you are welcomed, stay in the same house until you leave that town. Wherever people don't welcome you, leave that town and shake the dust of your feet as a warning to them. The disciples left travel through all the villages, preaching the good news and healing people everywhere. Let us pray. Let us close our eyes and let us pray. Please join with me in prayer. Most gracious and loving Heavenly Father, we thank you very much for this beautiful event in time. Father, we thank you for this eminent seminary, Kerala Christian Theology Seminary. 
Father, we thank you for the years which you have used this seminary in order to train many young men for the expansion, expansion and the extension of the kingdom of God. Father, we thank you for all the teaching staff and the non-teaching staff of this seminary. We thank you for the president of this seminary. We thank you for the vice president. We thank you for the director. We thank you for academic dean. We thank you for the principal. We thank you for all of us. Father, we thank you for the ten brothers and the sister who graduated in this evening time. Father, as they go out and proclaim your word, we pray that may you anoint them. May you take care of them. May you provide all their needs and protect them, O Lord. Father, in the name of the Lord God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we send these boys and the girls in the midst of the wolves and in the midst of the, the, the cruel people as they go and preach the gospel. Father, we pray that may you use them in order to penetrate many, many people with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your kindness, O oh Lord. Father, we pray in the name of our Father, our Son, and our Holy Spirit. Let them be a blessing to everyone. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. Amen. You may pray, please be seated. See the graduating students. Now you all received the certificate and uh, Dr. Roy Alexander conferred the degree to you and the you all received a Bachelor of Theology and one sister received a Master of Divinity. The degree you received is different from other degrees from other university outside. The outside university may not accept you, recognize you, your degrees. But keep in mind that the degree you received is heaven approved degrees. It is signed by the very God. Of course, we, the authority has signed it. But think that the degree you received is signed by God and it is heaven approved degrees. And uh, again, we wish you all success in your life journey. Now there are few of our faculties are here, respected faculties, Dr. Thomas Samuel, uh, Reverend Shibudas, Reverend Chijomon, Reverend Shijumon MK. They will come forward and uh, say a few words for the I invite them for the felicit felicitator. Praise the Lord. The name of our Lord be glorified for ever and ever. Especially in this evening, I am very happy to be here in the presence of the Almighty God. I thank the Almighty God for His provision, providential care, and especially for giving His only begotten Son for redeeming us. I thank God for the graduates of this seminary. And I here remember the great vision and the service of our founder president, Late Dr. P. V. Alexander, sir, and he was a great example for us. And I remember thousands of people were trained and were sent to the mission fields. And I am thankful to the Almighty God. And I thank that Dr. Roy Alexander. And Sister Amikuri Alexander has taken the responsibility to go with the mission. I thank the Lord for this. Respected Chairman of this meeting, 
Dr. Bao Samarsar, Administrators of this institution, President of Churches of Christ, Vice President, Director of this seminary, Dean Akaru Dean, Sir, a registrar, a former uh, Akaru Dean and Joint Secretary, all the pioneer workers of Churches of Christ. I would like to greet you all, and especially the graduates and our directories who are here. And this evening time, I, know I don't want to uh, give a message because it's my duty to give a, a uh, recitation only a few words. We have already heard very challenging and excellent messages from our director and our vice president. So as we are stepping into the ministry, dear graduates, dear brothers and sisters, you know, especially in the multi-religious and pluralistic context of India, uh, many, many challenges are there, like a fundamentalism, anti-conversion bills, fanaticism. In the midst of all these things, you have to stand for the gospel. As we have heard today, our Lord is with us. Praise the Lord. Amen. Even though our prophecies, your prophecies may not accompany you, your father or mother can't come with you, no other can come with you, but our Lord is with you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Go with the gospel. Go with the power. Stand for the Lord. You abound in the work of the Lord. For your labor is not in vain in the Lord. I wish you and I greet you all. And especially the graduates. I pray for you. And as we have heard the word of God and learned the word of God. Go with the word of God. Lead a life of holiness. Do a great miraculous ministry, marvelous ministry by the power of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord, good Lord bless you to stand for his sake and to work for the extension of the kingdom of God. Thank you. God bless you. Good evening, one and all. I greet you all in the marvelous name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I consider this as my great joy and privilege for me to be here in the presence of the Lord. I'm very much glad that I am here for the uh, 34th graduation ceremony of our Kerala Christian Theological Seminary. Let me take an opportunity to encourage and uh, uh, appreciate all the graduating students for their dedication and for their valuable life you surrender for the glory of God. As uh, Apostle Paul, he said, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 18, already I discussed in the classroom. That is, he said that you have to pray to the Lord. Lord, you please open my eyes. For what? To see the God's protection. You should pray to the Lord. Lord, you open my eyes to see your provisions, what you given to me. And also you have to pray to the Lord. Lord, you please open my eyes to see the presence, I can feel it. So wherever you are, and some of you are going to study, some of you are going to um, enter in the ministry, there will be maybe many of the hindrance and barriers may come to your life. You should pray to the Lord, all the provisions and the presence and all the things he will give unto you. And you have to pray, Lord, you please open my eyes to see all the things. May the good God bless you and uh, may the God bless use you for the expansion of God's kingdom. Amen. Good evening to you all. May the name of the Lord be glorified, respected President, Vice Pres uh, President. Uh, and all the faculty members, greetings to you all in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I consider it, my, it is it has my great honor and privilege to stand before in this wonderful evening time as we were hearing the word of God and God was exactly speaking to each and every one of us. And especially I wish to urge you in this wonderful evening time that you have spent three years or here 
and you are going to step into the ministry when you are going to step into the ministry as we have already heard up to this time we were hearing that you are not going alone the lord jesus christ is being with you and remember one thing you are not an ordinary person because as you are holding the holy scripture and sharing the word of god you are an extra ordinary person because you are not sharing anybody's word instead you are sharing the word of god so the living god will surely touch the people today or tomorrow so the may may the living god bless us together amen I greet you all in the matchless name of Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I do acknowledge the presence of the President, the Vice President and the Principal, Registrar and all the other dignitaries of this seminary this evening. I am blessed to stand uh, before you this evening. And I want to congratulate and appreciate all the graduating students. You spent almost three years uh, to study the Word of God. to equip for the mission and which vision which was up entrusted upon you by the lord and savior jesus christ and after few days i urge you after few days you will be stepping out of the comfort zone of the seminary and you there many challenges are waiting for you uh, in the mission field as our director and the principal and the vice president uh, vice president of uh, church of christ has already told you in their messages don't be afraid of anything our jesus is with you and he will be with you at the very end of the age may the good god bless you നമ്മൾക്ക് ഇവിടെ ഈ മീറ്റിങ്ങിൽ വളരെ സീനിയറായിട്ടുള്ള സെൻട്രൽ പാസ്റ്റേഴ്സ് കടന്നു വന്നിട്ടുണ്ട് ചില മിനിറ്റുകൾ അവർക്ക് വേണ്ടി വേർതിരിക്കുകയാണ് ഞാൻ ഈ പേര് വിളിക്കുന്നവർ ദയവായി വന്ന് അവരുടെ ആശംസകൾ അറിയിക്കാവുന്നതാണ് നമ്മുടെ സമയം അല്പം താമസിച്ച് തുടങ്ങിയതുകൊണ്ട് സമയം വളരെ കടന്നുപോയി അതുകൊണ്ട് ടൈം കീപ്പ് ചെയ്യുന്നതിൽ നിങ്ങൾ പ്രത്യേകം ശ്രദ്ധിക്കണം എന്ന് ഓർപ്പിക്കുന്നു പാസ്റ്റർ വൈ തങ്കച്ചൻ പാസ്റ്റർ ടി ജെ ജോസഫ് പാസ്റ്റർ പി ഡി സാബു പാസ്റ്റർ ജോണിക്കുട്ടി ബിജു പാസ്റ്റർ ബിജു ജി സി ആർ വൈ എം വൈസ് പ്രസിഡൻറ്റ് ഇവരെ സ്നേഹത്തോട് ചില കാര്യങ്ങൾ ചില ആശംസകൾ അറിയിക്കുവാനായിട്ട് ക്ഷണിക്കുന്നു ആദ്യമായിട്ട് പാസ്റ്റർ വൈ തങ്കൻ അദ്ദേഹം ഇവിടെ ഇല്ല എന്ന് മനസ്സിലാകുന്നു ഫാസ്റ്റർ ടി ജെ ജോസഫ് കർത്താവിൻ്റെ നാമം വാട്ടപ്പെടുവറാകട്ടെ ഈ അനുഗ്രഹിക്കപ്പെട്ട ഗ്രാജുവേഷൻ സർവീസിൽ പങ്കെടുക്കുവാൻ ദൈവം എനിക്കിടയാക്കിയ അവസരത്തെ ഓർത്ത ദൈവത്തെ സ്തുതിക്കുന്നു പൂലോകത്തിലൊക്കെയും സുവിശേഷ അറിയിക്കുക എന്നുള്ള ലക്ഷ്യത്തോടുകൂടി ഡോക്ടർ പി വി അലക്സാണ്ടർ സാറിന് ലഭിച്ച ആത്മീയതർ സെറ്റിൻ്റെ അടിസ്ഥാനത്തിൽ സ്ഥാപിക്കപ്പെട്ട ഈ ബൈബിൾ സെമിനാരിയിൽ പഠിച്ചിറങ്ങിയ അനേക കുട്ടികളുണ്ട് ചർച്ച് ഓഫ് കേസിൻ്റെ വിവിധ സഭകളിൽ പ്രവർത്തിക്കുന്നവരുണ്ട് കേരളത്തിനകത്തും പുറത്തുമായി ഇന്ത്യയുടെ വെളിയിലുമായി വിദേശ രാജ്യങ്ങളിലായി ദൈവവേല ചെയ്യുന്ന അനേകർ ഉണ്ട് അവരൊക്കെ പലരും ഈ കോളേജിൽ പഠിച്ച് ഇറങ്ങിയവരാണ് എന്നുള്ളതിൽ സംശയമില്ല എല്ലാം കൊണ്ടും വളരെ അനുഗ്രഹിക്കപ്പെട്ടതായ മലയാള കരയിൽ അനുഗ്രഹിക്കപ്പെട്ടതായ ഒരു കോളേജായിട്ട് ഒരു സെമിനാരിയായിട്ട് ഇത് മാറ്റുവാൻ സർവശക്തനായ ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ സാന്നിധ്യമാണ് കൃപയാണ് ഉണ്ടായിരിക്കുന്നത് എന്നുള്ളതിൽ സംശയമില്ല മുപ്പത്തിനാലാമത് ഗ്രാജുവേഷൻ സർവീസാണ് ഇവിടെ നടക്കുന്നത് കഴിഞ്ഞ മുപ്പത്തി മൂന്ന് വർഷങ്ങളിൽ നടന്ന ബിരുദാന ചടങ്ങിൽ നമ്മുടെ ചർച്ച് കേഷിൻ്റെ സ്ഥാപകനായ ഡോക്ടർ പി വി അൽ സാർ സാർ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു 
അദ്ദേഹത്തിൻ്റെ കഠിന പ്രയത്നം കൊണ്ടാണ് ഇത്രത്തോളം എത്തുവാൻ തക്കോളം നമുക്കിടയായത് ബൈബിൾ കോളേജ് മാത്രമല്ല സഭകൾ സുവിശേഷകന്മാരൊക്കെ ഇത്രത്തോളം പ്രാപ്തരാകുവാൻ തക്കോളം അതിൻ്റെ പിന്നിൽ കഠിനവാദാവനം ചെയ്തത് ഡോക്ടർ പി വി അരസ്ഥാൻ സാറിൻ്റെ ആ മല്ല മനസാക്ഷിയാണ് അദ്ദേഹത്തിൽ കൂടിയാണ് കേരളത്തിൽ ഇത്രയും സഭകൾ മാത്രമല്ല പ്രവർത്തനം നടത്തുവാനിടയായി തീർന്നത് അതിലേക്ക് ഞാൻ കിടക്കുന്നില്ല സമയം വളരെ പെബ്രീതമായതുകൊണ്ട് വളരെ വൈകിപ്പോയതുകൊണ്ട് ഒന്ന് രണ്ട് വാക്ക് മാത്രം പറഞ്ഞാൽ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നു ഇപ്പം മലയാളം പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഇവർക്ക് അറിയത്തില്ല ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് അത്തരത്തിലേക്ക് പറയുവാനേക്ക് സാധിക്കത്തുമില്ലാത്തത് കൊണ്ട് മലയാളത്തിൽ തന്നെ പറയാൻ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നു അപ്പോസലായി പൗലിസ് പറയുന്നത് സുവിശേഷത്തെക്കുറിച്ച് എനിക്ക് ലജ്ജയില്ല സുവിശേഷം അറിയിക്കുന്നതിൽ ഞാൻ ലജ്ജിക്കുന്നില്ല ലോകത്തിൽ ലജ്ജിക്കാത്ത ഒരു പ്രവർത്തനം ഏറ്റെടുക്കുവാൻ വേണ്ടിയാണ് ഇന്ന് ഗ്രാജുവേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്ന കുട്ടികൾ രംഗത്തിറങ്ങിയിരിക്കുന്നത് ചെന്നായിക്കളുടെ നടുവിൽ കുഞ്ഞാടുകളെ പോലെ അയക്കപ്പെടുന്നവർ അവർ അനുഗ്രഹിക്കപ്പെടുന്നത് അവർക്ക് കരുത്തേകുന്നത് ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ ആത്മാവാണ് ദൈവാത്മാവിൻ്റെ സാന്നിധ്യം അവരുടെ വൽ വ്യാപരിക്കട്ടെ ഭൂലോകത്തൊക്കെയും പോയി സുവിശ്വമറിയിപ്പാൻ അവരെ ദൈവം പ്രാപ്തരാക്കട്ടെ കഴിഞ്ഞ കാലഘട്ടങ്ങളിൽ പ്രവർത്തിച്ചു വന്ന ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ സാന്നിധ്യം നേരിട്ട് അനുഭവിപ്പാൻ തക്കോടം ദൈവവരെ സഹായിക്കട്ടെ എന്ന് ഞാൻ ആശംസിക്കുന്നു ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ സ്തോത്രത്തിൽ നല്ല പരിചയസമ്പന്നരായ അധ്യാപകരാണ് ക്ലാസ്സുകൾ കൈകാര്യം ചെയ്യുന്നത് എന്നുള്ളതിൽ യാതൊരു സംശയമില്ല ഈ കാലഘട്ടത്തിൽ അനേകർ ഈ സുവിശേഷവുമായി ബന്ധപ്പെടുവാൻ തക്കോണം അനേകരെ പ്രാപ്തരാക്കുവാൻ തക്കോണം ഈ കോളേജ് ഈ സെമിനാരി ഉതകട്ടെ എന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് എൻ്റെ വാക്കുകൾ വിരമിക്കുന്നു പ്രത്യേകമായി ഇന്ന് ഗ്രാജുവേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്ന എല്ലാവർക്കും ആശംസകൾ അറിയിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് എൻ്റെ വാക്കുകൾ നിർത്തുന്നു ദയ്യനാമത്തിൻ്റെ മഹത്വമുണ്ടാകട്ടെ ഈ മീറ്റിങ്ങിൻ്റെ അധ്യക്ഷൻ ഈ കോളേജിൻ്റെ പ്രിൻസിപ്പളുമായ റവറൻ ഡോക്ടർ ബാബുശമൽ സാർ നമ്മളുടെ സഭകളുടെ പ്രസിഡൻ്റായിരിക്കുന്ന പ്രിയ മുക്കുട്ടി മാമ ശസ്ത്രപ്രീസ് സഭയുടെ വൈസ് പ്രസിഡൻ്റ് ഡോക്ടർ റോയി അലക്സാണ്ടർ സഭയുടെ ജനറൽ സെക്രട്ടറി ഡോക്ടർ ജോർജ് ടി കുര്യൻ അവറുകൾ വേദിയിലുള്ള മറ്റ് ശുശ്രൂഷകരെ അധ്യാപകരെ ഇന്ന് രാജിവച്ചും ചെയ്യുന്ന പ്രിയ സഹോദരന്മാർ മറ്റെല്ലാ പ്രിയപ്പെട്ടവർക്കും വീണ്ടും വരുന്ന കർത്താവായ യേശു ക്രിസ്തുവിൻ്റെ നാമത്തിനെ ഒന്നിലത്തെ അറിയിക്കുന്നു ഇത്ര അനുഗ്രീതമായ നിലയിൽ ഈ കൊറോണ കാലഘട്ടത്തിലും ഇങ്ങനെ ഒരു രാജിവേഷം നടത്തുവാനായിട്ട് നമ്മുടെ സർവകില കൃപാലുവായ കർത്താവ് നമ്മെ സഹായിച്ചതിന് ഞാൻ വളരെ സന്തോഷത്തോടും നന്ദിയോടും കർത്താവിന് സ്തോത്രം ചെയ്യുവാണ് എന്തുകൊണ്ടും അനുഗ്രഹിക്കപ്പെട്ട ഒരു ശുശ്രൂഷയായിരുന്നു ഈ ശുശ്രൂഷ കാരണം ചില യൗവനക്കാർ ഈ ദിവസങ്ങളിൽ കർത്താവിൻ്റെ വേലയ്ക്ക് വേണ്ടി സമർപ്പിക്കപ്പെട്ട് സ്വയം സമർപ്പിക്കപ്പെട്ട് കർത്താവിൻ്റെ മുദ്രിത്തോട്ടത്തിൽ അധ്വാനിക്കുവാനായി അവർ ഇറങ്ങിത്തിരിക്കുവാണ് പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് ചർച്ച പ്രൈസ് റാണി സെൻട്രൽ പാർസ് എന്നുള്ള നിലയിൽ റാണി സെൻട്ര സെൻട്രിൻ്റെയും അവിടെയുള്ള മുഴുവൻ സഹവിശ്വാസികളുടെയും ശുശ്രൂഷകന്മാരുടെയും ആശംസ രേഖപ്പെടുത്തിക്കൊണ്ട് ഞാൻ എൻ്റെ വാക്കി നിരിക്കുന്നു ദയ്യം ധാരാളമായി അനുഗ്രഹിക്കട്ടെ ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ ശ്രേഷ്ഠനാമം വാഴ്ത്തപ്പെടുമാറാകട്ടെ അനുഗ്രഹിക്കപ്പെട്ട നല്ല സമയത്തിനായി ഞാൻ എൻ്റെ ദൈവത്തെ സ്തുതിക്കുന്നു സ്തോത്രം ചെയ്യുന്നു ഇന്ന് ഇവിടെ നടന്ന ഗ്രാജുവേഷൻ സർവീസ് മുപ്പത്തി നാലാമത്തേതാണല്ലോ കഴിഞ്ഞ മുപ്പത്തി മൂന്ന് വർഷക്കാലവും നമ്മളോടൊത്ത കർമ്മഭൂമിയിൽ ജ്യോതിർഗോളം പോലെ പ്രകാശിച്ച് നമുക്ക് മാർഗദർശിയായിരുന്ന നമ്മുടെ ബഹുമാനപ്പെട്ട ഡോക്ടർ പി വി അലക്സാണ്ടർ സാർ ഇന്ന് നമ്മോടില്ല ഇവിടെ നടന്ന ഗ്രാജുവേഷൻ സർവീസ് തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും സ്വർഗീയ സന്നലിൽ നിന്നുകൊണ്ട് ബഹുമാനപ്പെട്ട സാർ ദർശിക്കുകയാണ് വളരെ സന്തോഷം പുളകം കൊള്ളുകയെന്ന് ഞാൻ ഹൃദയംഗമായി അത് ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നു ദൈവത്തിന് സ്തോത്രം പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുകയാണ് ഈ കോവിഡിൻ്റെ മഹാമാരിയിൽ കെ സി ടി സിയിൽ പ്രിയ യുവ സഹോദരങ്ങളെ വാർത്തെടുക്കുവാൻ തക്കവണ്ണം ക്രിസ്തീയ ഗോളത്തിൽ വാർത്തെടുക്കുവാൻ തക്കവണ്ണം പ്രിയ അധ്യാപകരെ ദൈവം സഹായിച്ചു വളരെ അനുഗ്രഹത്തോടെ ഇന്ന് പകൽക്കാലം ആമേനവർ പഠിച്ചതിൻ്റെതായ പ്രകാശം 
Our Desha Tenda Nana Fangal Provertiku and the Kavanam. Our Kay in the certificate to go to Kuan Devam Sahaichu. Ida Sorgatel Shabda Namkelkono Yeniki Vendi are Pogum Adia Nida Adia Ne Aikaname As Shabdam Srivichu Gonda Sorgi Adautia Metro to Gonda Desha Tenda Nana Fangal Matramala Loga Tindi Anchu Mangaragalil. Priyamakal Satya Wanda Kavanam, Deva Tinda Parishutal Mao, Sahai Kate, and the Pratichagondam, Kayangala Mary Ude, Yella Sabagunda Berium, Yella Susan Mar Berium, Asham Sayum, Anugro Mari Chagonda, Deva Bada Bada Teltani Rikano, Deva Name Sahai Kate. Thank you, Pastors. We are almost come to the end of this graduation ceremony. Reverend Lydia George, the Secretary of Faculty, will come for what word of thanks. Before that, so Kriba and Karuna, they are daughters of Mary Bindu Thomas today who gra graduated. They will come and sing for us. A special song.
Secretary of Faculty will come forward for a word of thanks. Blessed be the name, be glorified in this beautiful evening. As we come to the final session of this program, I greet you all in the precious name of Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who is going to come soon. The duty which is bestowed upon me is to pronounce the word of thanks on behalf of uh, faculty. First of all, I give all the glory and honor to our living God who has brought us thus far during this pandemic period to make this academic year colorful and successful. And also on behalf of all the faculty members and students and the fam entire family of Kerala Christian Theological Seminary, we give uh, thanks and gratitude towards all the people who are here to witness the 34th graduation ceremony of KCTS. I just want to extend our heartful thanks to our president of this institution, who is none other than Mrs. Amakuti Alexander. Though she is physically weak, uh, her presence is always highly appreciable. Thank you, Mama, for your availability. On behalf of the faculty, we extend our heartful thanks. And also, we extend our heartful thanks to our Vice President of this institution, Dr. Roy Alexander. On behalf of the faculty and students, we convey our thanks and regards to him. And also, we would like to extend our heartful thanks and gratitude towards the Director of this institution, Dr. George T. Kurian then the General Secretary of this institution, Reverend P. John, and also the Principal of this institution, Dr. Babu Samuel, Reverend Bijimun VP, who is the Academic Dean, and Reverend Raju CP, who is the Registrar, and Reverend Ajikumar CP, who is the Librarian of this institution. We would like to extend our heartful thanks and gratitude on behalf of the faculty and students. Then I would like to extend our heartful thanks to the respected faculty members, the HOD of uh, Master of Divinity course, Dr. Edison Thomas, and Reverend uh, Kunjimon Daniel, Dr. Sabu S. Philip, Dr. Sam Plamotil, Reverend Shijumon, Reverend Tijomon, and I would like to uh, congratulate and uh, extend our heartful thanks to you all, sir. God bless you all. Then I would like to extend our heartful thanks and uh, gratitude towards a uh, 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 few of our pioneers of Church of Christ Ministries, uh, Pastor Y. Tangachan. Uh, Pastor O. Kunyepi, then some of our center pastors who were the witness of this uh, program, Pastor P.I. Johnny Kuti, Pastor Sabu C.D., Pastor T.J. Joseph, Pastor Boben, and other than that, some pastors, Pastor A.S. Uh, Babu Bobas A.O., Pastor Bijuji, and Brother Jojo, uh, then uh, uh, other than that, uh, some of our uh, staffs of this institution uh, who were really uh, worked very hard to make this program colorful, who are uh, Brother Biju CP, Brother Johnny Kuti Francis, and Brother Prince, and uh, Brother Rajan. Other than that, I would just want to convey our heartful thanks and gratitude towards the New Life Media program and this sound system who are arranged here, uh, this program to make successful. And also, I just want to uh, extend our heartful thanks and gratitudes towards the graduates uh, class of this institution and also their parents, pastors, and uh, we convey our heartful thanks on behalf of the faculty and uh, the institution. And also, we would like to extend our heartful thanks and gratitude towards the pastors, believers who are watching online program, and especially the board members of Church of Christ who are really helping and supporting uh, for our daily needs uh, from United States, and uh, we. The entire family of KCTS extend our heartful thanks to them. Other than that, we would like to extend our heartful thanks to the other institutions of Church of Christ, like um, uh, uh, Mercy Hospital of Institutions and uh, uh, other branch programs of uh, this Church of Christ. On behalf of the faculty and the Al Case Kerala Christian Theological Seminary, we extend our heartful thanks to everyone, then the Alumni Association, CRYM Sunday School, then um, the Women's Fellowship, and everyone uh, on behalf of the faculty, we extend our heartful thanks. Thank you. May the good God bless you all. Thank God we come to uh, the co conclusion of this graduation ceremony. I, now I request uh, Dr. George Gurian to come forward and close this ceremony with prayer and benediction. All may rise up.
Let us stand and bow our heads. Our loving Heavenly Father, thank you and praise you for this wonderful time which thou hast given to us. Lord, thank you for your guidance and protection and uh, all the blessings which you are showering upon us day by day. Lord, I pray for the institution that has enabled us to conduct 34 graduation service of our institution and also that has enabled to us to train these young men and women for thy glory, to do thy ministry and establish the kingdom of God on this earth. And also, Lord, they are going out and preaching the word and teaching to the people. Lord, be with them and help them to make them to understand and uh, baptize them in Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, give all the direction and guidance wherever they go and help them and uh, give all the blessing to them. And also, I commit this people, thy precious mighty hand, use them and give good direction for everything to reach many people from unreached area for our listen Lord Jesus Christ. I bless each and every one of them in the name of Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Be with them and give all the blessings in their life. And also pray for their parents back at home and the churches, Lord, bless them also. And also I pray for the faculties and also the board of directors of Church of Christ and be with them, help them. And also the people, those who are supporting us from the abroad, Lord, give more and more reward in their daily life and also kept them in wonderful way. Once again, we are committing everything thy precious mighty hand. Be with us, help us. In Jesus' name we pray. Love of God and grace of Jesus Christ and fellowship with the Holy Spirit be with us ever and evermore. Amen. Say hallelujah. 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 hallelujah.